it doesn't matter uh, how many the nuclear facilities, uh, everything that they have will not make up for the shortage. As I said, once you have uh, the capacity, which is depending on gas-driven turbines to provide energy, once they don't work, and you don't have a means to fill that, even with all the coal plants, uh, they're talking about uh, uh, 16 uh, plants that were going to be mothballed. They're not going to do that. Uh, they're going to restart some old ones. It's still not enough to get them over this hump. So you're going to see price increases there that are going to offset the decrease in the global demand because of their crop reductions in certain areas. There is a growing consensus among the world, especially among the people, that this is a real issue. Uh, so as a result, after this uh, and after the recession, you're going to start to see probably a, a much higher level. Mm. So then how do you look at the energy transition trend? Uh, the energy transition in the long term is unavoidable. <laughs> Yeah. 